Ready for a test of memory at this hour? Well, first, let's see a show of hands. How many of us had breakfast this morning? How many of us had breakfast this morning? How many of us have not yet had breakfast this morning? Ooh, yikes, the most important meal of the day, people. Oh, you're saving up for after mass. Good idea, good idea. No breakfast. Test of memory, ready? Turn to the person beside you and tell them, what was the last thing that you ate this morning or last night, yesterday? What was the last thing that you ate? Turn to the person beside you and tell them, what was the last thing that you ate? On your mark, get set, go. Okay, now think about it. That was the last thing that you ate. What about the meal or the snack before that? Do you remember what you had before that? Turn to the person beside you and see if you remember what it was that you had before that. notice how life is? How many years have you been on this earth now? And for all of those years, you just go from meal to meal to meal, nourishing yourself to have enough energy, and then the energy starts to wane, and you know that you have to nourish yourself with something else, right? Last night, I had Thai food, a Thai, and it was great, it was good, but I tell you what, by the time I woke up this morning, what was my body telling me? I was hungry again. And so, as I usually do when I'm running to church in the morning, I grab something like a breakfast bar, I know it's not a lot, mothers don't get after me here, and I grab a bottle of water, and I'm in the car racing off to church. Because I know that even though it's not a lot, it's going to get me through until Mary Lou's tacos in a tole. <laughs> it's not a lot, but it'll get me through. And then Mary Lou's tacos in a tole will get me through maybe till this evening. Yeah, probably not. Maybe till this afternoon. And that's how we just live our lives, right? Nourishing ourselves physically to continue the journey, amen? amen? In today's first reading, Elijah finds himself in the desert with nothing. What did he have? Nothing. And he said, Lord, this is as good a time as any. Take me, please. Will you please just take me now? Have any of us ever had thoughts like that before? And then the Lord sent an angel that gave him what? A hearth cake and a jug of water to sustain him. Oh boy, did it sustain him for how many days? Forty days and forty nights, according to the story. Don't take it literally. Uh, it was a book of theology, not a book of history. But if we would understand that story at a deeper level, it's that God takes care of us. Amen. In the case of Elijah, God fed Elijah physically. But isn't life more than just food? Think about it for a moment. We nourish ourselves not just physically, but we also nourish ourselves spiritually. Ooh, think of that for a moment. We nourish ourselves phys physically, but also we have to nourish ourselves spiritually. Find a way to nourish our spirit. Isn't it great that we come here on Sundays? Because when we come to Mass, what is Mass? Mass is breakfast. Mass is a way for us to break the spiritual fast that some of us may have had for a day or two or a week or more. And so we come to nourish ourselves with this Word, and we come to nourish ourselves with the body and blood of Christ. Isn't that why we come? We come to be nourished to nourish ourselves, we can go back out into the world and be better people. Did you hear today's second reading, the letter to the Ephesians? 
It talks about why it's so important for us to nourish ourselves. Because the more we nourish ourselves, the more we can take off the anger and the bitterness and the fury and the shouting. The more we nourish ourselves spiritually, the more we can put those things aside and start clothing ourselves with kindness. And the more that we can start putting on compassion. Ooh, you look good in compassion. The more that we can put on forgiveness. Ooh, forgiveness really suits you. Brothers and sisters, I suspect that today's readings give us a deep challenge. Because when Jesus says, I am the bread of life, he's not talking about physical food, though we do receive the bread of life here. I suspect he's talking about how it is we need to be nourishing ourselves spiritually as well. Maybe this week, instead of nourishing ourselves here with this word and the sacrament, and then fasting for the rest of the week until next Sunday, maybe we might find some ways this week to nourish ourselves spiritually. What do you think of that? Let's find some way this week to nourish ourselves, not just physically, but when we eat this week or when we drink, let's think about nourishing ourselves not just physically, but also nourishing ourselves spiritually. Through prayer, maybe dusting the Bible off and seeing what's inside, maybe doing something good for another person, Finding ways that we might nourish ourselves, not just physically, but also spiritually.